Oh no freaking. What are the odds? What are the odds? Seriously. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. I see the front. Do you see it now? <laughs> yes. Oh. 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 <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Metal Detecting Northern Colorado. My name is Michael and if you're new to the channel, welcome. I can't wait to show you one of the best hunts I've ever had. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. I'm not really sure where to begin. I will say I've been out to this historical property here in Northern Colorado before. And in fact, I uncovered uh, a relic that ended up being accepted into the Wyoming State Museum. And I thought, it would be fun to share this permission with some friends, some great friends, Tony, Jeffrey, and DK. I'll introduce you to them a little bit later. But I wanted to get some experts on this property to see if we could uncover even more relics. And boy, were we all just completely surprised and shocked at the sheer volume of silver coins and relics that came out of the ground. I can't wait to get to the video, but a little background about the property. It is an old stagecoach station dating back to the 1860s. Not only was it a stagecoach station, but there was also a local post office on site. It was also what they call a home station. So along the trails heading out west back in the 1860s, there were two types of stations. There was a swing station and then there were home stations. At a swing station, the stagecoach would simply stop, change out the team of horses, and then carry on. They just swing in and swing out, thus the name. A home station, on the other hand, is where weary travelers might stop, get a meal, maybe even stay the night. Of course, they had to give up their seat on the stagecoach, but if you waited long enough, you'd have an open seat maybe the next day or two and on you went. Anyway, uh, there, was, there was a lot of foot traffic here at this historical site and luckily for us, folks dropped a lot of things. I don't want to give it away. I will say, spoiler alert, I had probably the worst day out at this site. The only thing I found that was even worth a mention was a wheat penny. It's just how it goes sometimes, but uh, I was grateful that the guys came along with me and they uncovered a lot of firsts. I can't wait for you to see it all. Stay tuned. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and as always, let's go find some treasure. All right, well, Ken, got something. Got something. First, I just thought it was a piece of junk, but as I pulled it out, first I thought, now well, a piece of a spoon or something. Yeah. When I turned it over, that heart right there is pretty cool. Oh, that pretty is interesting. Cool. I think that is, and it could have been a serving spoon. Could have been. The width like of the big, bowl. Big bowl. What did it come up? 72. That is nice, whatever it is. Whatever it is. I don't know if there's more in the hole. I haven't checked the hole yet. Now oh heart. my god. The heart's cool, huh? And the age, I mean, if that is pewter, that's. It might be pewter. Well, you cut it off here and cut it off here, though, so. <laughs> might be more. Good than job. <laughs> <laughs> that takes some skill. <laughs> got something. Right here. I've got. It's a button. I don't think I. I don't know if I hit it or not. I don't think so. But. Wow. wow. There's the shank on the back. It's a two piece. That. Yeah, the head, the head will tell you. It's general service. There's no letter in it. Uh, in the middle there, where the crest is. Definitely general service, and it's been a while since I've dug one of those. That is awesome. Congratulations, Special, man. Especially here, man. Yep. Wow. Yeah, dev I mean, it's the story then that goes with the. See if you can put it in the Absolutely. Right yep. Yeah, let's get some light on that. Oh, halo. Oh, my hello, goodness. Hello, hello. My goodness. Two piece and the back has full shank still. Can you get um, some writing? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. I don't know if it's going to. Can you read it? I can with a loop for sure. Made in China. Yeah. <laughs> Bought <laughs> on Etsy. China. But that's. Uh, that is amazing. Whew. All right, Tony's got something over here. It's interesting, whatever it is. Might be like a chain pull of some sort. It has a hole on the back here. Yeah. Might be a chain, I don't know. Oh, just broke it in half. That's all right, <laughs> that's all right. But we can put it together. That's right. There. 
Well, that is ornate. Huh. Yeah. And I think you just, I think it was straight at one point, yeah, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Okay, so all you did was fix it, really. Something ornate, I don't know. Broke it in half. I was thinking like a chain pull it might have like a little hole at the top to pull down something. But I think there's more to it. Well, still a neat piece, nonetheless. It's ornate. Yes. So that's what's, you never know what it's going to be, but I think there's more to it. It actually looks like it may have broken there. Yeah. Very cool. That's cool. Yeah. Ornate though. I don't know, live dig with uh, out here with DK. Adventures in dirt. Looks like a. Looks like he's having. Looks a, like a cartridge shell for me too. Yeah. Me. An old one too, like a Henry or something. And you just wonder what in the world were they doing? I mean, if if there was a stagecoach here. Yeah. What the hell were they doing shooting? <laughs> well. Shooting at some food and up cut through the ground. Maybe some bubbling crude. <laughs> Am I showing my age then? But uh, yeah, I don't know. But you know, and you don't know why it looks like that. Nice color on that though, huh? Let me get in some sun. Yeah. Nice patina. Yeah, so the story I heard was that when you find them all smushed like this, yeah. they would fire and they would pick up their spent cartridge around. They, was, they would squish them. Okay. So that the Native Americans couldn't reuse them and repack them and reload them. Oh, okay. So they would purposely squish them pair of pliers so they can purposely squish them. Oh, I had not heard that. Yeah. That, is a, that is a cool... That's why you uh, find so many of them squished. I was wondering but about that. Because I have found a few back, squished... Uh, there's no H or... Of where, where Tony is. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. I'll, uh, I'll clean that up a bit. I, I don't see any markings. Usually there's S-A-W or, or an H or something. But definitely old, definitely period. Absolutely period. That is awesome. Yeah, very cool. You know, there's square nails on that yeah, right, right behind the wagon. Let's flip that over. What do you what do you think that is, Jeffrey? I Jeffrey think just a, I think it's a kid's I think it's a kid's toy. Yeah? Definitely. Well definitely a kid's toy. Sorry, well, I was, look like my a, bad. I'm not very good with auto, automobiles, but I don't know, man. Maybe a flatbed truck? I don't know. Still got paint. If you find any writing on it, get back to us. I I could clear off the the bottom and I bet there'd be something. There. I don't have my toothbrush with me, so I don't I know. know. I, and I didn't bring the one you gave me last time. So. Oh, we're over <laughs> yeah. over two. You think like maybe fifties? Maybe something yeah. like that we'll with, the, to... with the high wheel. Yeah. Beds. Yeah. We'll ask an old yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll ask an old guy. Hey, Tony, get over here. <laughs> All right. Tony says he found something even better than the military button that he found over here. Michael uh, might like this one. I'm gonna like anything other than what I'm finding right now, which has just been nails. Oh no, freaking! What are the odds? What are the odds? Seriously. Okay, I'm I'm beside myself right now. You cannot believe what Tony just found. Are you? There's a long story. It's you know the story. Not uh, yet. I don't okay. know what it is, but Tony. It's not large, is it? No. Oh. <laughs> you didn't you didn't know. spray it with water like I, I did. I touched it. <laughs> I have my brush out. All right, you get a shot of it here. Yeah. So it was deep, and I flung it out over here, and it was round, half half uh, half dollar size. And I knew right away what it was. It's oh. not silver. Have you found one of those before? No. Well, something similar to it. Similar. So this is a a wagon token or advertisement that they would go to different stagecoach stops and deliver these advertisements. And this is the token that's in uh, your museum or the Wyoming the Wyoming museum. State Museum. You gotta be kidding. This is the second one this found is... on this property. The other one was found just over here, <laughs> about 20 feet away. That's why I knew exactly what it was right after I popped it, because so I saw Unbelievable. that. Unbelievable. And the condition, look at that. That is way better than what than the condition I found. Oh, it's gonna have a date on it as well, right? 1843. Agricultural implements, dealer. It's a um, dealer uh, like coin advertisement. And then here's the date at the bottom. 1843, this is identical to your... Absolutely. Token. And what is so the name of the, the button factory, Scoville? Uh, Scoville. Uh, I can't remember the name on it, but... Uh, the Peter Shuttler Wagon Company. That's it. And the local dealer out of Cheyenne, Wyoming Territory, his name was Herman Haas. And Herman Haas. There you go. Herman Haas, old Herman Haas. This, I cannot... Can guys you believe wait. that? <laughs> <laughs> I knew exact, ex, the second I popped it, I knew exactly what it was because of your video. That this is just, this doesn't happen. Well, obviously it happened twice. Holy <laughs> cow, man. Guys, 
Well done. Well done, Tony. Holy cow. So how long do you go before you start getting jealous when yeah. the joy turns into jealousy? I would tell him to leave, but he's got the car we all rode in. <laughs> I can head out. You guys can hike back over to your cars. You, we're, we're putting you in time out. No, I'm, Tony, I'm super amazing. thrilled. Yeah. Yeah. Came up in the 60s, was it mid-time for you? No, this is the 90. Oh, yeah. It came up 91. I popped, I popped the plug out, it went to 98, and I'm like, eh, eh, nothing. Yeah, it was deep, yeah. deep, deep, and I flung it out, and it was literally like, like this. Oh, gosh. When I flung it out, I was like, I know what it is already. Unbelievable. Without a doubt, I knew exactly what it was the second it popped it. I am so happy for you right now. Oh my gosh. Be able to ID this before I will. Let's get some sun on that. But I know it's an it's, Indian head. That's a fatty. It's too big to be. A, isn't it a bigger than an Indian? It, it could be a fatty Indian. A fatty. There, there were. Uh, yeah. What year was the fatties? Do I see stars a, in a yeah. circle? Yes, there's stars in a circle, which was making me think maybe nickel. Uh, yeah, nickel. If I, yeah, V nickel maybe. Maybe V nickel. All right, the anticipation is killing me. Somebody with a brush. I, I, I didn't bring the, the proper tools again. <laughs> there we go. Good thing I did. Get it. It was okay. nick, it was nickel range. Yeah. Um. It's got to be. Yeah, absolutely. Be nickel. Got a five in the middle of the circle stars. Yep. No, it's no guys. It's a shield nickel. Shield. A shield. 1860s. It be, is a be shield. Absolutely period. It is a shield nickel. We'll have a date in a minute. Oh yeah, absolutely. So the congratulations, the man. This location. This is so neat. Jeff. Oh my goodness. You and your nickels. What is is what? Is, I, tell tell everyone he, at home. He digs those nickels. Tell tables, everyone man. at That's home. How, how many barber nickels have you found in the I've, last year? Uh, seven barber dimes. Seven barber dimes. dimes. Yeah. And Nobody I, does that. I think it's because like I just. I pay attention to one signal that's really interesting, <laughs> you know? We'll come back on the date. We'll get back at you. Yeah. All right. But. Yeah, definitely shield nickel. Uh-huh. No yeah. doubt. No doubt. So Five surrounded by stars. Woo! That's I'm pumped. pumped. I don't even think I hit it. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> we'll put it back in there and try again, David. <laughs> 18. Can you see that? I think I see 67. Uh, it's seven. You see seven. So it's either eighteen eighty-seven or which I think is too late, or eighteen sixty-seven. Camera could probably see it better than I can. Yeah. I just can't see it right now. We'll get some close-up. You'll send us some close-ups later, the, the right? The other one I found was thanks, buddy. The other one I yeah, found was pretty rough. Uh, rough shape. This, this one is pretty good. Yeah, because look at you. You can see stars on the bottom. Look at that. So period. So we're in the same, the same crew. Okay, I think my target is somewhere between the clumps. Between the clumps. What do we have there? Ah, oh. oh, a weedy. We got a weed scent. Got a weedy. Yeah. Woo! 56. Nice. Well, that makes my day. I'm on the board with something other than nails. How oh, cool. And the front side looks pretty good. 56 Philadelphia in the back. So Tony told me to grab some water. I think he's genuinely concerned about my hydration. <laughs> This is freaking this me out. Off. This is freaking me out a little bit because I can't see anything on it. No, I can't tell anything. But it it's is, really, it is it's real thin though. It's super it's like thin. thin, super dime. warm. One thin dime. Oh. I'm guessing. I'm going with one thin dime. That's what I'm thinking as well. It's gonna take a little bit to soak right. in. It's here's pretty the, caked. Here's the big reveal. That oh, is dude, thin, yeah, isn't it? it? It's super thin. It's do, to come do we have guesses? A bit another. More. Yeah. Do we have guesses? Uh, I, I don't have a guess. I, I can't. You got your... Uh... It is caked. Damn. See, the the rim makes me think it is a seed. Like, the rim is depressed, so it makes me uh -huh. think it's a seeded. But I see... It I do, is so thin. I do see the, the, the reef. It's thin. Oh, like I was close. I said it was one, I was one thinking. thing. Do you have a regular dime on you? Yeah. A regular silver seeded dime? Regular, regular, yeah, regular I have dime. Tons size. of seeded dimes. No, regular dime. Roosevelt. 
My wife doesn't let me have money. Well, we'll come back when we get a uh, ID. That's... <laughs> it's a seated quarter. Oh my gosh. Oh it's my gosh. Quarter, it's, I, oh my I gosh. see the front. You see it now? <laughs> yes. Oh. That's so cool. That's so neat. Oh my god. I would never ha oh my goodness. Oh. Um okay. That's my coolest find ever. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I took it out of the hole. I'm sorry. Jeff goes silver. What do you think, Jeff? What do you think it is? Is it a Washington? Yeah, it's a clad. Mm -hmm. A clad Washington. Nope, no, it is not. <laughs> Look at his hands. He's still so shaking. If his hands shaking, it is <laughs> not. Well, oh, Lady Liberty seating. Uh, sitting La right there. Liberty seating. She's sitting. Quarter. Should we get? Should we get a date? Yeah, let's get a day. Holy oh, cow! Yes. <laughs> yes. I feel in, I'm inspired. You want some water? Yeah, we All right. Because it kind of looks like a, a dime or a, yeah. a triangle. I wasn't, honestly, uh, I wasn't sure. It almost first. looks like the no, Buddha. But you, you knew it was silver and you knew it was big. I knew it was, yeah. Bigger. Oh. Do it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a, what a neat. 1876. Oh! oh. oh. Wow. And a bicentennial. A bicentennial. No, a uh, centennial. Look, centennial. Centennial. That is a nice. Look at that skinny oh, eagle. Oh, guys, we got a mint mark. Oh no way. C C C. Carson, Carson City. City. Carson City. Whoa. 1876 C C. Oh my God. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo! What a sweet day. So cool. Oh. What? Uh, how much would that be of today's money? Oof, boy, I don't know. You guys know I don't oh know my that gosh. Kind of stuff. Like a five dollar bill, maybe? You guessing? Yeah, something like, like that. Yeah. yeah. Like you lunch. can get bread and cheese and oh, beers and yeah. maybe a, maybe a yes, you guys, whiskey. You get, you guys want to <laughs> Dude, seated. Oh. Never my. found a seat in my life. Anything. Goodness. And I always thought in Colorado, if I could find a seat, yes. that would just be oh, it. Uh, I'm gonna sneak up on Ken here while he's digging. Ken, what you? What was your favorite piece so far today? Um, for me, for, for anyone. For, oh man, um, have we determined what Tony's was yet? I don't that think dime? so. It's still a mystery. I think uh, by far it's going to be Jeff's seated quarter. It's been pretty cool. I really cool. I would agree. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Same. Uh, I like mysteries too. I think yeah. that dime, right? The thin dime. It's thin. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's perfectly round. That's. Tell me it's pretty old, but yeah. did he get the crud off it? He didn't, huh? Uh, not yet. Mm. That's a that's a TBD. Yeah. All right. That quarter is so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, just just gorgeous. Like to me in Colorado, seated is like you know uh, Spanish in the on the East Coast or in colonial areas. You yeah. Know? Yeah. To me, that's just like the ultimate for me. But, Absolutely. I mean, there's only, what, 150 years yeah. of history out here? But if it's a half dime, that would be pretty darn cool, too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so. Well, we'll find out later, right? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, I'll let you get back to work. Yeah, yep, something's deep. It's, a losing, it's eluding me. It's Eluding. the elusive one. Yeah, okay, all right, I'll check back with you. Okay. A few moments later. Huh? Silver? What? No. Ken just dug silver. All right, we're going back over to Ken. I told him I'd follow up with him. I just didn't realize it was gonna happen this quickly. We're gonna grab the water. Yeah, so. Probably uh, eight inches down. Eight inches down. Eight inches down. It's a little one like Tony's, man. It's oh! A little one. Definitely cool. That is tiny. It is tiny. That is really tiny. Come you know, on, let's detail. Put a thumb there for scale. <laughs> that, that, uh. I mean, that almost looks like play money. It's so small. It is. It's probably just. Uh... Please tell me it's a trime. Do you guys find this, this trime? Not here. That's why I'm hoping it is. <laughs> it's wiped, huh? It's pretty wiped. It's white. thin and small. Can I get that? It's seated. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Down, baby. You got set. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Boom! Boom! And boom! Ken! Holy cow! 
down. It's a half down. He got sat, but he's laying down. Tell me it's a half down. 1841. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. You want to you do a little happy dance? Oh, man. Yes, I do. Holy cow. Man. Beautiful. Did you just, <laughs> yes, did you did. just mouth it? I did. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. In yeah. the front. We yeah. turn it around. You guys see 1841? I, oh, yeah. Plain as day. 1841. Yeah. See, oh, flip oh. it though. I gotta call half time. It's wiped in the back. That is beautiful. I don't oh, see anything. Is that the oldest thing? Oh, you guys shoot, can I have kiss it? Here? Yeah. Is that the oldest find today? Oldest Absolutely. find for me uh, ever. Yeah. Well, in, in, oh, in the States. Oh, no, wait, in Colorado. But today, I think that's the oldest yeah. by far. That's incredible. So is it a dime or half dime? It is so small. Small thin thing. It's got. I, do do they know. make seated half dimes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Tony's yeah, saying yes. I found one next to my gold coin. <laughs> you, uh, Jim, on there? Here, you know what? Here's the dilemma. What's our next um, treasure hunting meeting going to look like now? <laughs> when we walk in and we just lay this stuff out on the table, we're like, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm so when they say where we want, we'll just say we found a spot up in Wyoming somewhere. Okay, remind <laughs> us, how long have you been detecting? Seven years. Tony and I started at the yeah. same time, so seven years. And this is your oh, first yeah. seated? First seated ever. Ever. I mean, I found some great stuff. Over the years, we have found some great stuff, including a gold coin, right? Which is the ultimate, but 1853. That was in 1853. And I just wanted to get a seated coin. It, oh, hits. you know what's crazy? Get a true story. My first seated right here. Was it? It was right here. I maybe like, I mean, within five foot radius. Oh, and the signal was ridiculous, right? Was yeah, there, right? barely there. Heard iron on both sides of it. Twelve seconds later. All right, I heard a eighty-eight out of the hole. Oh, uh, silver again. Oh my goodness. Silver again. It's a bigger one. It's, it's well, a dime. Straight dime. Come on, you gotta be kidding me, King. Come on. Did you get sat twice? Oh, right there. Uh, oh, wait, I think we're gonna be able to see the. I see, Ro I see Roosevelt. <laughs> Nope. Seated again. Another Se seated. Seated. That's so cool. That's so cool. Holy sh**. We are making up for lost time, aren't you? <laughs> Holy. 1880-something. 1883. Flip it over. 1883. All right, this is... Uh, the back is wiped again. What, what's up with wiping the backs? <laughs> I think that's a one well. It's, it's got a lot of stuff on it. I think it's still a one dime. Yeah, it's bigger it's than bigger. the other one. Yeah. 1883. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Twice in the same hunt. That is ridiculous. And what are you like? What? A few feet from the other one? Yeah. Yep. Not too far. But boy, I'm, st I'm now I know what the signals sound like. I am not ignoring the most ridiculous signal. I would have never dug either one of those signals anywhere else. Okay, man. Now I know what they sound like, but my gosh, man. Congrats. 1883. End of the run. And everyone at home is wondering, what are you swinging? Swinging a dais, too. Yeah. I haven't been swinging it too long, so I'm still really learning it. But, you know, God, I love that machine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you just got to... You gotta explore, right? You gotta explore the signals and, and see what it's telling you. And today's been a great learning experience with that. I'm in a general program, which I've never ran before. And yeah, it's, it's doing great. Yeah! Congratulations. Congrats, yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> okay, I missed it, Jeffrey. What, what did you just pull out? I, it's my second shield nickel. Yep. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. It's so cool. It's so cool. Okay. Oh, my goodness. How can, can you even stand it? I'm, uh, two shields, yep. two seateds. Yep. I mean, 
<laughs> this blows me away, man. Let's see what we got here. What was the last one? 67? Yo, 186. 18... Six. Oh, is it? Right. 86 well, 60, AD? The last. It was 66 to 83, so. There we go. So, so yeah. Woo! Nice. Very good. Dude, Very this, is good. The, this is the best, man. All right. Tony, I think he has his second button for the day. Oh, I see it. We're in the dirt clod. I haven't taken it off of it or anything. It, I, I thought it was, I saw an eagle. Yep. No shank. It's definitely a, a two piece. No shank. Ha. Ah. Is that general service? It is. That is amazing. Absolutely the older one. Very thin head and neck. Oh, look at the relief on that. You can really see that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. And remind me, what's the story with the head and which way it's facing? So it goes to its right. It was, it was made and in service during wartime. Okay. And if it goes to its left or our right, then it was made during peacetime. Check that. Uh, yeah, I, I can dig. I can dig buttons all day long, man. Dude, that was. I've ignored those signals all day. I know. It's only because it. it's, it's only two of them. It's only because you showed me that. What did this ring up? This was a seventeen eighteen for me, which and and um, Tony's button was. Um, 15. Equinox 800? Equinox 800. I do think it might be older than, you guys are better at this, but I do think it might be older than, uh... There it is. It is. Matching square nuts for the Is it, is this the older spot, you guys? Yeah, it's older. Yep, looks older yep, than me. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, look at the detail. Look, look at, at the, the detail. Look at the wings. <laughs> Seriously, are you, guys, are you guys playing this up just for me? No, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, look at the detail. Look at the wings. You got, you have feathers on the wings. Oh yeah. Anything wow. in the shield in the center? No, it's general. 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 Look at that. It's got a head on it. <laughs> no shade, <laughs> though. But it, yeah, you got. Oh, that's, that's the. That's the course, is it it's, bent over? It has oh the, yes, it has bent the over. Cuff. Oh guys, this. That, that's my that's the trifecta for me right that's there. it go sit in the car rest of go, the day go sit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man what a cool day oh my goodness let me guess jeffrey found it yes, jeffrey, found it. jeffrey found this is your how many this is the third shield this nickel third today. shield nickel wow so that's a 1860s right yeah last 66 geez. to 83 they dropped it when on the well, this was the, the wagon. This was the station right here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much for. Oh, you're welcome. For allowing sure. us here, man. What a special treat. Sure. Wow. Me. Congrats. Well, I'll get the date Thanks. for you later. Good job. All right. Tony just said he's got a coin. You might have gotten the. the oh, I see it. You can't tell if it's silver or not. No. I see it. All right. Looks nickel size. Yeah. Pitch. I'm going with penny. A little or smaller. Yeah. A weedy. <laughs> wow. Right where the seated was. Wow. Right where all the seated was. They dropped that right off the stagecoach, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a what a bazinga. <laughs> What's the date? I don't know. I can't even see it. He's like, I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Yes. You know when you start calling a weedy a bazinga, it's been a good day. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Ken said he's found the uh, coolest piece of junk. That's pretty cool. Bottle cap. Can you make out any? Uh... Yeah, it says. Ooh. The Centennial Watch. 
Memorial Hall, 1876. It's got a picture of a church on there. What is what? that? I don't know what it is, it's but it's a, a lid, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a lid, but... It looks like a bottle cap. It does. But boy, we're going to be able to do research on that, huh? Yeah. That's some cool old junk. <laughs> <laughs> Memorial Hall, 1876. All right. Centennial Six. Hall. That makes sense. Math checks out. All right, so I got some sort of decorative thingamabob that I broke, which is awesome. But it's got a hole in the top. I don't know if it's like a, uh, a, a chain or a pull or a drawer pull or something like that. I, I don't know exactly. This is... Uh, that incredible token for um, the uh, stagecoaches, you know the wagons. Say? Silver, just haven't been able to get anything off of it. It's pretty Try white, it but in. definitely silver. I, I got two um, two general service buttons. I think they're the older style because it's got the thinner head and a couple uh, pistol bullets and then a whole bunch of trash. Yeah, we'll film but that later. Good day. Absolutely. Good day. Ken, you want to tell us what you found? Yeah, I forget the dates though. But, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, one of the first targets I found was this little, like, uh, you know, faux jewelry, scratchy Oh, we finally band. thawed out. Yeah. It did thaw out. I haven't looked for any marks there. It's not, they don't feel though heavy. I don't think they're sterling, but sure didn't decay a lot. So it's probably, it probably hasn't been too long since it was lost. Somebody, um, you know, maybe, you know, I didn't clean it up too much. This is straight out of the ground. So it withstood the acidity of the ground really well. Uh, thing of a bob. Don't know what it is. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to find out what that is. Uh, period pistol ball. Nice. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, you always like stuff that's period. Uh, this is another, like, a, either a Henry cartridge or uh, some other type of period uh, cartridge for sure. Uh, really cool. I love the... Uh, this thing is really mysterious. Okay. It says like the Centennial the Centennial Watch. It's got a building with a church on it with a steeple and a, and a cross. It says Memorial Hall 1880 1876. That is cool. And it's a it's a lid, a jar lid or something. And you jokingly said that was the oh. most interesting piece of trash, and I would agree. Because <laughs> you normally see that, and you go, oh, I'm going to throw it in my trash pouch. But as soon as I saw that, yeah, I was really interested. I can't wait to hear the backstory on that. And the stars of the show, I mean, if you can see this, just look at the size difference between these two. Let me turn this one over. So these are both seeded dimes. This is a seeded half dime, and this is a seeded dime. One was 1843, and the other one was 1883. So 40 years apart. Wow. But, uh, yeah, I'll clean those up a little better. Super cool. I have no idea uh, what some of these things are like that and where that came from. But I'll do the research, and we'll figure it out for sure. Sounds good. All right, and here's my finds. I didn't have the best day out here. I got one wheat penny, one shotgun shell, a hinge. Actually, actually, two hinges. This tiny little hinge is pretty old. A uh, mystery item. That's uh, a few clad coins. Another little mystery there. Uh, it looks like the end of a really an old spoon. Yeah. And then last but not least, I'm going to let uh, Jeffrey tell you what he found. All right, Jeffrey, what did you find today? Okay, we have a... You had a great day. Oh, my goodness. You had a... Everybody had a great day, Every, but you had a really good I, day. It, it was a real blessing of a day. Um, this is a general service button um, with the... with the. This would have been... Actually, this is similar to Tony's, but... Um, equal facing left. Do we decide it's wartime? Um, I, I'm not sure what the consensus on that was. I'm sure okay. somebody at home knows exactly. But, but I think Ken dated it 1850s, wow. 18, 1860s. So that is just incredible. That's that's the oldest button with I've ever shank. dug with the shank. So light. I, I love that is cool. That's maybe one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, 
Then we have, this was the one everybody freaked out about. Uh, it's an 1876 cc seated Liberty quarter. And it's in really good shape. Yes, it Made is. Made in Carson City. Look at that. And we were commenting while we found it that the amount of money that that would buy you lunch. That that would buy lunch. I think that'd buy you a lunch More and, a, maybe and lunch a dessert plus. with yeah. a drink. <laughs> maybe a beer. With a cocktail. <laughs> then this is the other funny thing. Three shield nickels. Nobody does that. <laughs> Nobody does that. I, I found one in a year. Um, and that's the oldest thing I'd found in Colorado up until this point. Um, and I think we have an 1867. We have an 1872. And then one date is not quite not quite readable yet. Unbelievable. Yeah. And then and then we get a little more just some older uh, some some older uh, rim fire cartridges. Right. right. Um this was kinda neat that I didn't get a chance to show you guys, but no. Then I hit it. This is a um Ken, Ken a, what the hell is this thing? It's a weight for a scale. I think it's a I think it's a trade weight or trade some type weight. of trade scale weight. I didn't get to show you guys that. It's got a it's got a corkscrew on the end of it. What do you think? Like you know, there was three or four of them weighing, mm -hmm. hanging on one side. Could be. Okay, so we're we think it's a trade weight. Trade like trade weight, yes. Okay. And this is a saw medallion. This is much later, but kind of cool saw medallion. And what's a saw medallion for those at home? Really saw medallion is in the in the wood, the wooden handle uh, that's connected to the actual saw. They would they would inlay these different medallions that have to deal with. The maker. It's like a maker's mark on the saw, but I believe that's what that is. It's, it's got it writing like, on yeah. it. Um, it's warranty. Yes. But fairly modern. I, yeah, I, I, I don't think that's one. I don't think that's the, the time period we're looking for. But I still think it's probably you know 50, 60 years old mm -hmm. maybe. Wow. So. Any you guys want to guess on the model of this this toy here? That's, that's an old toy. Studebaker flatbed. Uh, you said guess, I'm guessing. <laughs> Studebaker <laughs> flat, okay. Run flat for a second, I'll be back. Ken, Ken knew immediately what this was. Okay, so Ken knew immediately what this Come was. On, guys, it's a guess for me. It's a guess for me. Oh. This is a keyhole latch cover. Key, keyhole latch cover, and he thinks that if we were, if we bring, if we do electrolysis or something, if we we if we're able to move this plate, okay. there should be a keyhole behind it. I found I found something similar like that where it sw it should swivel. Mm -hmm. yeah, it okay, should swing out of the way and they put the key in there and lock the door yeah. and it covers it. Okay, but that was right in there with all that stuff. So who knows? It could have been off a door, on the. Or you think it's later? It's a treasure box, treasure chest. Okay. Well, everyone, that is a wrap. It's been an incredible, incredible day. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out here. This has just been... Thank you thank for the you. invite. Oh, yeah, I, just, so I, cool. I probably had more fun watching you guys <laughs> <laughs> than I've ever had finding stuff. Yeah. It's, it's ironic because I found pretty much nothing today. <laughs> it's fun getting together when we can all appreciate where we're at. Right, right. And then when we, you know, as a group, we start finding things that tie to the, the area. I was yeah. just talking with Tony about that. So, man, it just... It just, you know, you just have to stay out there. Like, it just, you have to stay out there. Promise me we'll come back. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look out for part two, folks. That's right. We'll be back. And before I forget, we do, we did find a lot. I mean, a lot of trash. There's a lot of clad, uh, some vodka bottles here. Lots of vodka bottles. There was a pipe. We're going to call this a tobacco pipe, of homemade tobacco pipe. All kinds of interesting Interesting trash, but trash nonetheless. Well, folks, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Uh, we're like, we're like the, the blue collar workers. Yeah, right? we're like, and the is like, like zip, 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 hey, can you here. back out? I don't want to get my yeah. suede boots on, buddy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, that's great. I'm just, I'm just gonna put that in the video. <laughs>